Welcome to Amtrak. We just spent $2,300 on a three-day train trip, and we're not really going anywhere. I mean, we're taking Amtrak's Coast Starlight from Klamath Falls to Portland, and the Empire Builder all the way to Chicago, but we have no reason to be in Chicago. The journey is the destination. That's our destination. We've been from the west coast to the east coast and back in the RV, but we've never even spent the night on a train. I'm just gonna take a little nap up here. On our first leg of the journey, we'll give you a full tour of our roomette and the train, show you epic views of the country that you can only see from a train, and tell you why you should never, ever book business class on Amtrak. Yeah, we've been sleeping overnight. Yeah, I'm coach since LA. We've never really done this before. We weren't quite, quite ready. We, we barely, barely made it here because of all of, uh, all of this stuff. That's us. There's all these people in here, and there's only a few minutes before we all have to board, and the line's not moving. So, not sure how this is gonna work. And it's freezing 12 degrees outside. We're in. I don't know where our car is. We stored our stuff back here for a second. That's a big room because it's got a bathroom and stuff in it. Ours isn't quite ready. I guess they're cleaning it. It's cool. I mean, look out, look out the window. And we haven't even started moving yet. I don't think I've been on a train in like 30 years, and I've never taken a train on a trip like this. I, I'm already just excited. Great, thank you. You're welcome. You guys can come here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and dine with us. I'm traveling on. Fun. I mean, it's a great way to travel. Oh, yeah. I want to yeah. be on the left, and then I want to be on the right. Too. So far, breakfast, like, look at this. They have this nice little setup. They got great breakfast offerings. Apparently, the food's good. Waiters are nice. The the neighbors are great. <laughs> Experience, they know stuff. So far, so good. Oh my gosh, the views, the views, the views. Even fresh strawberries and whipped cream. I'm just going to take a little nap up here in my, my roomette. Here's the view from up here and uh, down there. I think I'm gonna like this train thing. Traveling on the stairway. Ladies and gentlemen, our next station stop, Eugene. We ask that you please remain trackside and near your assigned car. Yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, four people missed the train. All their things were on board, they wandered off. We're on train 14 on the Coast Starlight, and we're in room 12. It's actually room at 12. I had no idea what to expect. It has an actual glass door with a curtain, and it's actually surprising. Oh, and it comes with her. It's only from there to there. So I'm just a couple inches shy of reaching that way, so probably just over six feet that way, and three feet, like what? 20 square feet in here almost, 18 square feet. You got a light thermostat and your own 120 outlet. You only get one, but that's really all you need. The seats are wide and pretty comfortable. This thing folds out into a table with little wings to make it big enough. You could actually eat here if you wanted to. Get your own little uh, closet. You know it's closet because it says closet. Now this makes into a bed, and the staff does that for you. And this is the other bed, which is great because you can store stuff in here. These might look like armrests, but those are actually the steps to get up to the bed. I think this might be our new favorite way to travel. Leela thinks we want to go cross country in coach, but we talked to a friend at lunch and... If you're 20 to 25 years of age, traveling by coach is fine because you're accustomed to living in a dorm. So are you saying, BJ, that we look over 30? Perhaps. I'm gonna close the door for this part. Here's my initial impressions. It's comfortable, but they did it like 30 or 40 years ago and haven't really upgraded it, and it's not super clean. Not luxury by any stretch, but uh, really enjoyable. I'm a little confused because look, there's <laughs> there's no caboose. This is the end of the train. I'm gonna walk you through the entire train. We're on a super liner, so it's a two-story passenger train. There's a bunch of cars. This is actually coach, but it seems almost identical to the business class. In fact, the seats seem kind of newer and just about as comfortable. I guess there's maybe a tiny bit more leg room in business class, but it seems almost the same. You've got AC power outlets here, this flip down table. Yeah, your own window. It's like, I don't, I don't know why you'd even need 
business class. It's pretty mm -hmm. comfortable. Yeah, we don't I, mind it at all. I sleep like a rock, so. I think the only difference is the airflow. So if you're gonna do this, you gotta bring your own bedding. We'll yeah. take you guys away <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. The view is actually better out this window than it is in, this, in our sleeper. It's because we're on the second floor and the window's a little bit bigger. So could you sleep here in coach? Of course, The tr you know why? The train is just really lulling me. And it's just, there's a pattern to the train. It's kind of a quiet little pattern. This is our first time on the train in the US. Uh, even though we have done a lot of trips back home, but it's been an amazing journey. And I think coach is good enough. You it's, don't need to go business. Did you sleep on coach? Oh, yeah. And it was like, yeah, it's very, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in India, most of the coaches are sleeper. So you don't need to like sit in a chair. Yeah, the leg space is pretty minimum. Yeah. So this experience was quite different to just stay up and sit up all night, but very comfortable. I kind of can't believe they let you just go through these doors because it seems kind of dangerous. It's more comfortable than a plane for sure. Seat goes back pretty far. I could do this for several hours. This next thing, the sightseer lounge, this is cool, they got glass ceilings. I think everyone, whether you're a coach, business, or sleeper, can come in here and check things out. You just have to get a seat and they got tables, it's comfortable. The dining car is under here, but because we're stopped, we can't. But I guess the cafeteria is where you can buy food if you don't have a roomette that includes food. So this is actually business class. It doesn't seem that different than coach. I was a little confused, but there is there's more leg room here. They seem like they're basically the same chairs. Okay. Goes back pretty far. Can't get it to come back. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Look what I found. Hey. Making me do all the dirty work. <laughs> I know because I found friends. People to talk to and ride the train with. We found a new friend. She's Kathy Thompson from hey, Kathy. Valley. Hi. Nice to meet you. Kathy and I were getting air, so we, then we started talking. I'm like, where to start? She goes, see me Valley. I'm like, no way. Oh, hey guys, enjoy your lunch. So these are all the rooms and roomettes. I think these are rooms up here because I think these have bathrooms. I don't want to spy on people. I was looking for an empty one. This one looks empty, so I'm gonna sneak a peek. I don't think there's anybody's personal stuff in here. That's a room, not to be confused with a roomette. Pretty sure these are all roomettes like what we're in. We're on the first floor, this is the second floor. I think, I think that's the end. Okay, I'm downstairs at the front most car I can get into. I assume that past there are two engines. It's just not as nice downstairs as it is upstairs. When you're downstairs, you can't walk the whole length, but I just walked the entire length upstairs from the back all the way to the engines. I get so confused, I have no idea which anything is. I have to look out the window and go, okay, we're going forward. So the food is, I guess that means the food's that way towards the, I guess that would make that the back of the train, right? I wonder what that number means. That's our room right, right there. And we don't have our own bathroom, but we do have one on our floor here, and this is what a bathroom looks like. They're pretty basic. Everything you need. We also have a shower that we share with the rest of this car, which looks like this. And I guess they didn't think anyone would be showering today. Oh wait, maybe they did. Look at that. I guess we could, could shower here. I'll be showering on our train in a bathroom tomorrow morning. This is it, we made it. First leg. It was actually fun, went very fast. I guess we gotta find the other train. I have no idea how to get to it. Train's uh, that long <laughs> that I just rode on. And it's that long that way. This is the Portland train station. It's super old school and super cool. It's got like these, it's like marble walls. It's got neon signs. It says telephones, but let's have a look. Most of them are empty, but they did keep one. It's a dollar for four minutes. To see if we survive the next two days on a train with a broken heating system in six degree weather, hit that subscribe button and click right here. Ready, set,